I really was not going to record anything else until I got back from the con I was going to go to, which I am still going to. And then Nintendo had to be like, let's just drop a direct on a random fucking Wednesday. They couldn't do it next week when I got all that free time, but nah, let's just do it now. So I'm assuming this direct is like going to be like their E-free kind of like big ass fucking event. So we're probably going to see a lot of good shit. So I'm going to do like a little prediction round and then we'll get into it. First things first, the big elephant of the room. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, it came out a month ago. It is way too early for DLC, but it could be lightly teased, lightly, like the like a picture. That's it. All we get is a picture of something. We don't even know what, but that's it. Just a little, little itty bitty tease. And then I'll look at that for like 20 minutes being like, oh, look at that, and then there, there, which that'll be fun. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we had a Mario game, so I'm expecting some Mario spinoff. I don't think it's going to be like a sports game. Maybe it'll be like a remake of, uh, fuck, what was the Paper Mario game that was on Wii? Fucking the 3D-esque one. I could see that coming back. I don't think they're going to do Thousand Year Door or like the original because one, the original is in the expansion pack for N64 and it's a good uh, art, uh, Mario RPG. And second, Thousand Year Door is a great Mario RPG and that's why we'll never get it because they think uh, Paper Mario should suck. So that's fun. So, one of the bigger things is Metroid Prime 4, and here's the thing, I still don't think we're gonna see it. It's been so long, and we've gotten fucking nothing for that, so I have no idea what the hell is going on, but I could, could see Metroid Prime 2 remaster. I always thought it was weird that Metroid Prime 1 got remastered, but it was just the one game. So maybe they're t like gonna throw it out over the course of Force development to ease the passage of time, which is kind of shitty because the Wii one had all of them. But whatever, uh, I think Metroid fans will just will just take it at this point because they have nothing. I don't think Pikmin Four is out yet, so I could also see Pikmin Four footage as well. Granted, I don't. I mean. Who's really excited for Pikmin? Okay, 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 okay. We got NES. We got SNES. We got N64. We got the Game Boy. We need the GameCube. We're either going to get that GameCube expansion pack or we're going to get a GameCube game getting remastered. One or the other. And let's pray that it's fucking Wind Waker and Twilight Princess because I want to play those games again. And I could play the GameCube runs, but like, I played the Wii U ones and they were so pretty and so good. And the fucking tear shit in Twilight Princess is so much better. And like, there's extra shit and it's like, just, just give me that. Give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it. Just port it. It's so easy. Just port it. Alright, so now let's get into the direct. Boom. Alright, I'm ready to get started. Get rid of that. Let's see what's in store. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna get another Splatfest announced and shit. I totally forgot about Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3, I was really excited for and I hardly play it now. Oh, Pokemon? Didn't we just get a Pokemon? Like, oh, are we getting DLC for the Pokemon? Oh, I bet we're getting fucking DLC. Too bad I don't give a shit about Pokemon. It's really hard to care about Pokemon when Game Freak doesn't seem to care about Pokemon. But hey, if everyone is still playing Pokemon, good for you guys. I got a sibling who's still really into it. The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Oh, and it's separate? Of course it's 
Let's see. You know what their DLC should be? You get to explore, or not explore, you get to have, like, the other part of the game for free. And get to do extra shit in that part of it. Part one, the teal mask. Okay. Aw, I do like the fact that the Pokemon are out and about. I just wish they were so fucking generic. I hear you going through my shit, by the way. Oh, she looks cool. Oh, I bet that's her brother or some shit. It'd be really cool if it was her kid. We don't get a lot of really old ish characters in Pokemon, so. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, I thought it. Shit. No, wait. I misread that. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, but they're gonna start off with Pokemon, like. I hope this is just, like, to get it over and done with. Because I care about literally anything else. Like, I care more about F-Zero than I do about Pokemon, and, like, I barely touched F-Zero. I think the most I ever played F-Zero was the fucking Bayo 2 level, <laughs> where it changes into an F-Zero game. Although, I, I think I touched the 3DS port of one of them. But I did not really- it was fine, like, it just wasn't enjoyable, <laughs> if that makes sense. Although, to be fair, that could just be a really bad port, and I just wouldn't know. But, yeah. Oh, Indigo Disc. So it's on a cruise ship. Ooh. They should just break- you know what? You know what Pokemon did that I really liked? I can't remember which game it was, but they brought back older characters. Like, they brought back red and blue to the new area, and you could fight them and shit. That was really cool. They should do that shit again. I don't think they were going to, but they should. Man, if I was into Pokemon, I'd probably be like, oh, this is so cool. It's just, no, not for me. I say that, but I was really hyped for Pokemon Snap. But to be fair, it doesn't play like Pokemon. And you get to take pictures of the Pokemon. And it was really good. Only it wasn't as good as the original, weirdly enough. It was fine, but like... It wasn't as good, but it, it was still Pokemon Snap, so I was fucking happy with it. I just think I still- I don't think I ever beat Pokemon Snap on Switch. Hmm. I bet that's the new Legendary, then. Ooh. Oh, the Teal one's got one, too. I just fucking missed it. Hey! Hey! I know you! Yay! Why both? Why both? Why are you both here? What's going on? What are you guys- What are you guys gonna announce besides this Pokemon shit? Like- Uh-huh. Very well, cool. Half seemed to be in a completely different location. Oh, that's not a cruise ship. Academy in the middle of the ocean. Oh, it's a school out at sea? More details on this DLC will be available in the future. That's fucking weird, but okay. After today's Nintendo Direct, a special event will be held in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Oh, boy! Oh, actually, I bet my one sibling's really excited about that. I should go turn off the internet so they can't do it. It'd be fun. It's hey, look, it's classic Sonic. Squad of superstars. Oh, that's plural. Sonic and Is it going to be Tails and Knuckles again? Brand new 2D yeah, there they are. Sonic superstars. Oh, look, there's Amy! And her old design. I mean, it makes sense because they're classic. As Sonic. I wonder if the same dude that made Mania is making this. To the skies as Tails. It is nice, I just like... And glide I'm more into movie Sonic. So if they give me a skin with movie Sonic, I will Rose. definitely be into it. Although, I guess they can't do that because Amy doesn't have a movie like design yet. But if they put her in three, though. If they put her in three, though, then we can get it. Whoa, that's a lot of Sonics. What? Oh, they're new powers. I was gonna say they didn't look familiar to me. No, they got co op? <laughs> that's gonna be fucking crazy. Like, for Sonic specifically, that's gonna be nuts. Combine your powers and take on the evil Dr. Eggman. I thought I saw someone else on the robot. Like some other guy. With a, I thought he had a hat. It didn't look like Robotnik, but maybe I'm crazy. A cozy life is just around the corner. Ooh, is another farming life sim? Because we got a bunch of those coming. Welcome to Palea. 
in okay. this free to play adventure sim. Free? The idyllic life of your dream. There's a catch. In game characters and players from all over the world. Oh, I bet like you have to buy cosmetics and like certain houses, shit with like real money. Decorate your home plot. Yeah, home that's what it is. In your garden and more. Play so I'm instantly out. In online co-op or carve out your blissful life. Solo. Oh, look, there's a little robot fishing. And if you're eager to explore, there's plenty of life beyond the village. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've seen this before. I think they showed us this, or they showed us a game that was very similar to this, and I'm confusing the two. Is entirely up to you. Oh, that was a weird arc. What kind of coziness huh. will you choose? Wait, do we have to be people though? I want to be a cat person. And launches on Nintendo Switch. I saw a cat person. We can be cat people, right? Why can't we? We should be able to be cat people. Ignite your heart. Yo, wait. Is Persona Five getting a little reboot? Like, like the chibi style? Oh no, it's a spinoff. Okay. Ends up in an unfamiliar world. Why is it chibi? Forces with a revolutionary named Arena to combat the armies that have taken control. Hmm. During battle, assess the situation. Oh, it looks like it's gonna play out like more like an RPG. Not to say that Persona doesn't play like an RPG, but it's gonna play like a grid based RPG. Damn, I might play fucking Persona. Although I did try it. I just could not stand the fucking grinding. Nothing kills any joy I have in a game when fucking grinding. But you don't really have to do a lot of grinding in great base games unless you really suck at them, and I really don't. Hi, baby. What is arena I mean, is that was already in Persona. What truths, life, I made a lot of, like, hot babe versions, because... A revolutionary okay. tale will but, when Persona 5 Tactical I don't know. Launches on Nintendo Switch. Like, the fact that it's grid-based makes it more enticing for me to play it, but on the other hand, I never played today. Persona 5, Please so... What if there's story shit that I'm not gonna know what the fuck's going on about? Because it's, like, referencing Step shit from that. Saturday morning cartoon. What? Calling all heroes for the first person roguelike adventure, Myth Force. Enter okay. A high fantasy world inspired by Saturday morning cartoons of the past. It's up to you to stop the evil Daedalus from taking over, but it won't be easy. Oh. Treacherous tombs and why? Castles why is it? Threaten your survival. Wield is that just really bad first person, or is it? Smite or is this like a port of a VR game? Run, you can find treasure to help Th boost there's something about it that just does not look weapons. right. And more. But maybe that's supposed to be the feel, it's supposed to be like an 80s cartoon, but like, I don't know. Any sold online? Oh yeah, the online. I don't know, it doesn't really give me the 80s cartoon vibe, but maybe it's because I never really watched any besides Gem and the Holograms. And Gems and the Holograms is really weird. Hey, look! Oh, to be fair, like, of course I would get that right, considering like... It's probably gonna be in like every Nintendo Direct now. What's going down? Is it gonna be something that's gonna like do a new game or something like uh, Tears of the Kingdom was? Splatfest, Splatfest. All right. The next Splatfest for the Splatoon 3 game has been confirmed. Yeah, what is it? Okay, squids. Here's the theme. Which really ice cream? And it's taking up a freaking slot in the Nintendo Direct? That's something you just tweet out. It's not like something crazy. But I mean, like, I guess it is. Eh, whatever. These choices are delicious. What were they? I didn't think I saw chocolate. Maybe because they knew chocolate would win automatically. Because like chocolate's like literally like the best one. Splatting in theme battles with challenges. Foggy notion. Oh, because it's foggy. Oh, I get it. It took me a second, but I get it. Oh goody, more Pokemon. We just saw the DLC though, so like, what the fuck else are they gonna show us? Between the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City. Wait, is it Grime City? Of Pokemon is this a spinoff? No! <laughs> That's okay, Detective Pikachu! 
Is this the fucking sequel they promised forever ago, or is this a fucking remake? Literally, as soon as the movie came out, they were like, we're gonna make a sequel to the Pokemon to the game, it's gonna be great. This is just the beginning. But like, I don't think it even did that well. But the movie did well. But wait, is so wait, is it the sequel or is it a remaster? Maybe they're porting it over and then they're gonna make the sequel because probably no one played it. I don't know anyone that's played Detective Pikachu. Although I saw, like, a lot of people saw the movie, but no one watched, no one played the fucking game. The culprit is clear, isn't it? A bolt of brilliance. The name's Pikachu. Okay, the fact that he's introducing himself, that, it's a remaster. So if Pikachu returns? I wish somebody would bring me some coffee. Is it- which is it? Detective Pikachu returns. Remaster? Looks like he still loves coffee. What cases will Tim and this tough-talking Pikachu solve together? More info will be revealed which in the- Which fucking is it? Is a fucking remaster or a goddamn sequel? Please take a look at this. You sons of bitches! God! No- Oh, it's finally coming? Wait, I thought it already was on the expansion pack. Oh, no way. No way. They're finally doing it! <laughs> oh my god, they're finally remaking it? Holy shit, everyone's losing their fucking minds right now, I bet. Everyone's losing their shit. They're finally remaking RPG. That's so fucking nuts. I, I thought of all the games, it would never happen. Damn. But hey, I'm right! We're, we're getting into those uh, uh, Mario spin-off games. Oh, look, there's Malo! Oh, and everyone's favorite. See, now there's no excuse! Now he's not gonna be not relevant anymore! Now you have to put him in the next Smash game! Oh, it looks really faithful, too, and it's super cute! Hey! To be fair, I, I never played the original. I did watch an LP of it, though. Um, it was just- I just had no way to play it. Although I do have the expansion pack now, so I could play it. Or I could just play this fucking remake. I might just do that. But from what I remember from the LP I watched, this is looking really faithful. Hey, it's that goofy goober. Oh! They sh are they gonna add extra, like, party members? Or are they just gonna keep it exactly the same? Are they gonna keep that Final Fantasy secret boss? That I don't remember. So yeah, there's already gonna be some- oh no, that's the same, that's the same. I think that's the same. Hmm. I think I saw some new stuff, but I don't think it's gonna be party member-wise. It'd be really cool if we got like- I know we got like a little tease of Luigi, but like... You know, if it's a fucking spinoff, maybe we can fucking use Daisy besides never using her for shit. I'm just saying. November oh shit. Originally released on Super NES. That's Super like coming out real soon. Returns with brand new graphics. Yeah, it looks actually what fucking phenomenal. Game or not? It's been so long since we had a good Mario RPG. First RPG in the Mario <laughs> series. Mr. Koizumi, that hmm? last trailer featured Mario, but he's not the only one getting a game. Huh? What do you mean? What yeah, what, Let's take a peek. what the fuck are you talking about? Are we getting another- Are we getting Super Princess Peach 2? That's right. Princess Peach will star as the main character in a brand new game. Are we getting Super Princess Peach 2? This particular spot on stage. Look at her! Huh? Whoa. What? what on earth is happening? She can- That's all we'll show for now. Okay, it wasn't like a power-up, it was like some weird, like, Sailor Moon little dance thing. There's actually something else. There's more Mario coming? Is that the second? Yeah, that's a, it's a 3DS one. Awesome! So 3DS games can get ported. Maybe we can get uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask too. Or is this just gonna mostly be Mario Both shit? Games will launch next year. Okay. Mario I'm really it's 
Princess Peach. I mean, like, not to say I'm not excited for uh, Mario RPG, but I'm really, really curious about that Princess Peach one. It kind of looked like it was on a stage. I wonder if it's like a play kind of thing. Let's see some more headlines. Yeah, maybe something that's not Mario now. I think Mario's got enough stuff now. Become Gotham City's No, I no. It's Arkham Knight, or I can sign on those fucking Arkham games. Yeah. I cannot care about them. To be fair, I don't like Batman. So I was never gonna like these games. I like one Batman game, and it's the fucking Telltale things, because they, like, they change Batman enough, and they really change Go Joker enough. But yeah, I just... And plus, I think the gameplay of the game is actually fucking clunky as shit. I know a lot of people really like the combat, but I just fucking hate it. To be fair, though, it's... Similar to the Spider-Man one, but the Spider-Man one fucking perfected it. Because it's not clunky and shitty. So, there's that. At least they're all coming. I think that I think they showed all three games. So, that's cool. Yeah, it's all three. That's good. And, well, yeah. Why would it not come up with the DLC? That's good for everyone that's, like, excited. You know what we should get? We should get- I don't think they have any of the- Or, not any, just the one season of Telltale's, um, Batman series? I can't remember what it's called. We should get that. I'd play that on Switch. Batman Arkham Trilogy launches on Nintendo Switch this fall. Yay! Anything else? Play your cards right, mercenary. Oh, is this a card game? Lead your mercenaries through cursed dungeons in the lands of Gloomhaven. Oh, it's not. Prowess is all that Wait, stands no, it is. It's. And oh. This adaptation of the hit board game features turn-based. It's a. It's based off a board game. Unleash deadly combos. So wait, I bet the board game was based off like RPG shit from video games. So it was the board game is probably gonna be based off a video game, and then the board game got its own video game. That's fucking wild. I'm just assuming. I've never heard it before. But I do like the layout and stuff. It is really fucking chunkin' though. But it's, it's still in development, that can be fixed. Although they are fucking getting close to it. September 18th. So let's... For the mercenaries we'll see if they fix that today. shit. Maybe it's supposed to look like that, but I don't know why it looked like that. Keep the oh, joy. Just dance. I... I, don't, I can't. Sorry. I'm out. Goody, we get to move on. Silent hope lies in a world without words. Okay. Without words? One day, a once so like, peaceful realm was silenced. So like no king. voice acting? Now, seven wordless warriors will rise. Yeah. In this action RPG, okay. these heroes bound by fate must work together to explore the That's kind of interesting though, cuz like how king. it's it well, However, it's not it's, it's not like you can't tell a story without like no voice acting, like they did it before. But it's a lot more harder, especially in today's landscape. Like swords, bows, and, it, and it doesn't look like it plays like a normal RPG. I might actually give this a play. After you return to base, I might actually give it a play. Help you cultivate resources and forge. Yeah, they always got to add the farming, the crafting shit. That's in a lot of shit. You to grow the abyss. And dive deeper. I want to go back in the fucking death shit. I just got out of that with Tears of the Kingdom. Your guide on no, there's words. The sorrowful princess encased in a crystal of oh, I know. And through a mysterious power. Damn, I thought there really wasn't gonna be any voice acting. The silent warriors. Why did the king steal the world's words? And what awaits Why does she still get the words the then? Silent Hope died. It's literally called Silent Hope. Why is that one chick the only one who could fucking open her mouth? Mm. Sparks will fly in the Ah, maybe. Maybe. I'll have to see another trailer. Cast spells and cultivate your best life in Hey, it's on. that fucking fairy game. Make use of Man, did it always look like bad? It looks way more chibi now than I'm remembering. Unless it's another fucking one. There was that one direct where we just got like a ton of fucking life sims. And, well, not life sims, farm sims. 
Faithful. And I never won that was like fairy based. Nintendo Switch, it's console exclusive? I'm thinking of a different one then. In game bonus are available now on Nintendo. Ah, uh, no. Zoom into wild racing action. Ooh. Wheels unleashed I know someone who's really going to be excited Choose for this. Introducing the hey, it's Mario DLC Rabbids. Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I thought the DLC came out already. Mario and friends Am I thinking of something different then? Maybe. I still haven't touched the sequel. It's on my list. And by list, I mean it's on my fucking game thing over there. Because I bought it. But it, like, it's right there next to a bunch of other games. And then I started replaying South Park. I don't know. I make bad decisions. Why play a new game that I've been wanting to play when I can just play another game that I kind of want to play? Oh well. Maybe now that the DLC is coming, I'll finally get my on my ass and fucking play it. That looks like Dragon Quest enemies. Is this like a Dragon Quest now? Oh, I saw a slime. This is definitely Dragon Quest. I bet money on it. It's fucking Dragon Quest. Now a Dark Prince will rise. You intend to take arms against me? I don't think it's a new game, because like... I don't know. It doesn't look like the last one. So I'm thinking it's a spinoff or some shit. To be fair though, I know very little about Dragon Quest. You're going to have to become a monster wrangler. Oh, I okay. It's like that all one Pokemon game, the the Pokemon Ranger game, where you have to like, you don't you don't capture the monsters or kill them. In this case, you tame them and then you get them. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of dope. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, it's gonna fucking play like fucking Pokemon. Damn! That's dope. That's dope. Dragon Quest Monsters! The oh, yeah, okay. Okay. I get it. I get what they're putting down. I see it. Uh, That's not bad. Hero is here. Hey! I think that's Sits, right? That's the hero from Sits? I think. I think that's the hero from Sits. That was Dragon Quest Monsters, the Dark Prince from Square Enix. I wonder why it sits and not the new one. That's kind of weird. Maybe timeline-wise, it takes place during the Sith game. Maybe. Please be on the lookout for more info in the future. Sure. Next, we have more news on a certain game with plant-like creatures. Is it fucking Pikmin? It's probably fucking Pikmin. It's fucking Pikmin. <laughs> Damn, on two for two. Welcome to the oh wait, I'm three for three, but I didn't really give myself the splat, um, the splat fest one because like that was a really big obvious one. But yeah, so far I'm really good. You'll meet plant -like creatures oh, let's see pick. if I'll get any of my other shit. It probably won't. The adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a fucking dog in this one. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Repair the damaged rescue core spaceship. I do not. Save any castaways you find. Sorry. All right. Let's oh, maybe I should. Together. I haven't. I tried Pikmin fucking one on GameCube and I didn't like it. But maybe I should try a new action. one. Blow your maybe it'll be better this time. And have them follow you. Throw your little buds at things, and they'll start. Wait, they're bugs? I thought they were plants. Also prove to be a great canine the Pikmin's are bugs. Then why do they have the fucking flowers and leaf shit on them? Or smash obstacles in your way. That's just a house! I thought they were an alien planet! Well What the hell is the plot of Pikmin? Ochi can even stand up to the wildest creatures. Oh, look at him go! He's such a big Oh, he has a health bar. Treasures scattered around the planet to fix Damn, can I just radar? have that Game Boy? Because like that was really good. Like that is not damaged at all. Why is it in a fucking house? To the surface, though. Why not take the plunge underground? What is so many Here, games are going under the world? Like away. why? Why? Unusual contraptions. Oh. Native creatures. Is that a fucking frog thing? And even more treasures are around every corner. You might Wouldn't the blueberries just be some castaways too? Wait, is that like a player character? Like dead body hey, shit? Wait a minute. Who the this leafy individual just nabbed the castaway? You've got to stop him. 
It's what? Time it's a Dandori Pikmin battle. in a suit? Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect more objects than your opponent within the time limit to win, and okay. save the castaway. Oh, you have to fight to see who gets it? By rescuing castaways, you'll be able to do more activities back at base camp, which is right <gasps> next to your spaceship. Oh, so you get to build like a Train whole little ocean, area. They're not player characters, they're CP they're not they're CPUs, they're NPCs. Or Don't do that. New equipment and items to help make exploration more manageable. Okay. For the first time in the Pikmin series, you can eventually set out for night expeditions. But oh, you couldn't do that before? Catch. Nightfall sends creatures into a frenzy, so stay alert. Why can't they be sleeping at nighttime? Thankfully, you'll come across the new oh! Pikmin, which those are really cute. Night. Oh, they're ghosties! Find luminols that produce valuable glow sap. So you can either explore land, land, it's four so underground, or it's four in the land at night. The That's damn. They're throwing everything out in this fucking one. Many more surprises await on this uncharted planet. Yeah, uncharted in a fucking living room. By your side. No challenges oh shit. Do. Or too small. I don't know why that just fucking makes me laugh, but it fucking does. Pikmin 4. Is that next month? Damn. What I didn't think it was coming out that soon. You had to return to your spaceship before sundown. However, oh, there's like a time limit of your exploration. Oh, okay. That's why you can explore. But now you can, so fuck it. We have even more Pikmin news to share. Oh. HD versions of the first two Pikmin games originally oh! released on Nintendo GameCube will launch on Nintendo eShop later today. Hey, GameCube Remasters! Plus, ahead of the Fucking game four! Pikmin 4! Wait, so I got the Mario thing, I got the Splatfest thing, I got the GameCube thing, and I got the Pikmin thing. Yeah, four! Four for four! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Let's see a few more headlines. Yeah, let's see if I can get all my little predictions out. Show me Metroid. The no. Of stealth action games is infiltrating Metal Gear <laughs> Switch as Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. Oh! This oh! Oh! That's three! Oh! Metal Gear Solid infiltrate and regain control of Shadow Mode. Oh, it's weird that it's the PlayStation version Metal and not the Solid GameCube 2, version that we got. Liberty. Locate and retreat I'm pretty sure that was the GameCube version, because, or not the GameCube version, that was the PlayStation version. Because the GameCube version looks a little bit better, but I could just be fucking misremembering shit. Oh no, it's got the NES version too. Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Damn. As well as the NES versions of both Metal Gear and Snake's Revenge. Oh no, that's the NES version. This compilation and there's a fucking novel? Metal Damn, is it Metal Gear's birthday? Novel. Shit! It's sequel. That's cool. That's a definite, definite buy. Screenplay books and master oh, it lets let you know the spoilery. That's nice. Strategy guide it's, for each game. I wonder why we didn't get four. I, I think it said one, two, and three, and then like, um... Oh, it's volume master one. That's volume why. One. That's why. The volume 2 is gonna have the other ones. <gasps> oh, it better have Raiden's spin-off game. Raiden's spin-off game is the fucking shit. I know it doesn't match anything else, but like, damn, I really love it. That'd be really- It's time to survive. Castlevania? Steal thyself. Vampire survivors is oh, no. To Nintendo Switch. I mean, it is Dracula, you but it's not Castlevania's Dracula. A 30 minute onslaught of monsters. Okay. Stay on the move to avoid enemies. Oh, it's like one of those kinds of games. With your weapons. Seems he does have a whip, too. Right? Is this like a weird... No, I would have more in common with it. The longer you survive. But that's weird that, that he has a By whip. Treasure chests from defeated enemies, I figured that was more of a Castlevania thing. Up. You'll acquire weapons and upgrades for your character, so shape hmm. them as you see fit. Plus, up to four players. It's not my kind of thing, but like it looks really good. And it's got co-op too, which makes sense. Find out when oh shit, things gonna go crazy. Hey, and it's coming out soon. That's good. Get off my box.
music and pigeons? A pretty cool, pretty cool music party with You're pigeons? Pig. Yeah, you heard that right. Okay. Play oh. In this rhythm battle royale and aim to be the last bird standing. It's a battle royale with fucking music and pigeons? Copy the leader's actions perfectly in Yes, Commander. Okay. Fire a slingshot to play music in first piano shooter. I don't know how to feel about that. To the sky and more. It's definitely not for me, but like games, you're in for an impeccably good time. Oh. I'm just more confused by this than anything. When Headbangers Rhythm Royale pops its way onto Nintendo's I mean Headbangers is a good name for like a musical game for like I don't know for a battle royale. Ready, set, yo! Okay. Penny is on the run. Oh, it's she's cute. A chaotic audition that veered way off script. Oh. She's managed to make some powerful enemies and <laughs> a newly animated friend. In this 3D platforming adventure from the team behind Sonic Mania. Oh. The, bright and the Sonic Mania guy is making his own game. That's fucking and cool. Penny and Yo Yo escape the clutches of the grouchy. The Yo Yo's alive. Eddie. Okay. Stylish acrobatic tricks to avoid it looks really cute and actually looks like and power up your it's kind of giving me like Banjo Kazooie vibes. Like, play. you can also put your I might have to watch a few more trailers, but so far it looks really good. Special items, not I'm not I'm not saying no, I'm not saying no. After all, take the stage when Penny's big. Oh, it's not that far off. Probably Play winter or early spring, I bet. Hmm. Rev up for oh yeah, more courses. I forgot. I probably have a fuck ton. I have to download shit. Of the Mario Kart I'll do that later. Booster course pass DLC. Introducing squeaky clean sprint. Oh, more that's cute. Characters are also being added. Oh, are we gonna get like any from other outside Mario? Cause I will literally re I will boot up the game right now if we do. Okay, we got Wiggler. Come on, come on, someone cool, someone cool, someone really, really cool. Mario Kart Tour. Ow. Oh, I guess that means tour characters might be coming. I don't know if there've been others. I can't remember. But that's cool-ish, I guess. Course pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game zooms onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Nintendo Switch Online Plus. Yeah, I know. Members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. I know. I already DLC got it. Can also be purchased on its own. I doubt anyone's gonna buy it. They're just gonna get a free. What's the point of playing Mario Kart if you can't play online? A remake of the second Star Ocean game, complete with new graphics oh. that fuse 2D and 3D. Oh! After That's nice! Off, Federation Officer Claw. Oh, is that the art for the game too? Like planet. the character portraits? Because, like, damn. Reina, who possesses mystical powers. It is! Is it or mere coincidence? Soon after, okay. the entangled in a sinister plot within the galaxy. Okay. In science fantasy RPG, I will give that a try. This seems really team. interesting. I never played the first, so you'll also meet you can change the name. Potential allies from all walks of life. So it's got fantasy and sci-fi elements chose, intertwined. And okay. The you make will have an oh, I bet one of them's from like the fucking cause. future or some shit. Battles take place in real time. And oh, they do. Thank God. It looks like it plays more like a Tales game than a fucking normal RPG, which is fucking awesome for me. It means I'll actually play it. Ooh, and you can do chains. Not in your current party, unleash follow-up attack. <gasps> oh, so that even the ones you aren't using can still be useful. That's actually nice. For a way home, an ancient prophecy will unfold, and your destiny will be awakened. Ooh, I like that guy. In Star Ocean, the second story arc. Hey, another game in November. Damn, there wait, that's that's gonna be another RPG in November. That's crazy. It's time to move it. Wario hey! Style. Wario DLC or another Wario game? Get ready for more micro game mayhem in the latest WarioWare game. Oh, it's a new game! Okay. Old two Joy-Con controllers. Then I heard the uh, the last one was a little uh, funky, uh, uh, game, uh, glitch-wise. So hopefully this will be slightly better. And 
how you move depends on the micro game. Oh. React quickly with the right movement. I don't know if they'll... The hey! Excellent. So it's more motion based. Okay. Play with a friend in local co-op. Oh, I, oh, I don't want to. actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players can live it up across <laughs> various mini games. You know, people are shaking that shit mode. super hard. For example, this dicey board game is gonna oh. keep you on your toes. Oh, it's like a little Mario Party segment. Hit your body okay. In over 200 lightning hey, Pikmin! Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be a Zelda one too. In WarioWare, move it. Oh, it is okay. So it is more motion based because okay. That that proves it. Begin today on Nintendo. That's not bad. Hopefully, because of that, it'll be. Hey, look at him go! <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything? Cause he's too busy he playing so the game, man. I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. This is the latest WarioWare game. You'll use your entire body to strike different poses and complete micro games. Man, depending on the Joy Cons you use, this is gonna be either really fun or like really fucked up. Families can join the fun at Nintendo Ooh. Live 2023. They're having their own little thing. Games. Of course, it's in fucking Enjoy Seattle. Performances. <gasps> Take photos with some of your no! characters and more. They're gonna do a plus cheer on your favorite players in fucking Zelda Championship. Orchestra. There. Eligible attendees can also compete in Damn. tournaments and participate in a last chance. I mean, since September, maybe I can go. This all ages oh. celebration is free. And will take place September 1st through 4th in Seattle, Washington. Oh, there's no way. No, it's fucking Washington. I thought I thought the Seattle was like twenty second. Head over to the it's official not. website and enter the random drawing for a chance to receive oh. tickets. Pax well, West Pax I, holders yeah, interested definitely in not. Even if I could get tickets. Pax West website Damn. For details. Well, maybe Those if it's popular enough, they'll do it at other places. Chance to attend with the three challenge cups this summer. The top mm. ten players from each will get tickets. Please visit yeah, the official that's website good. for more details. See you there. Damn, I just wish it was a bit closer. A vast number of players are enjoying their time in Hyrule. All right, here it is, everybody. <laughs> which released last month. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh huh. Thank you all very much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what a else? The figure of Link from the game was released to coincide with the game's launch. And I got it. New Amiibo of Zelda. You f and are planned to be released this holiday. Oh, she looks so good, but I'm so mad they have that reference photo because I had to scounge for photos of that fucking dress to make a cosplay. Please take a look. Oh god. Okay. Shit. So I now I'm gonna get two more Amiibos. Does that count as DLC? I mean, probably not. We're getting another, another Mario game? God damn! It is literally the year of Mario. It looks really good though. Like, graphically. Very- Oh! I saw one of those little tits- Okay! Look at that! That's got a little style, it's got a little flair. There's a talking flower for some fucking reason. What do the purple coins do? Mm. It's got such a little cute little style! Oh, okay. What does that do? Oh! That changes some shit up! Oh, look, there's the thing for Okay, there's the purple coins. Oh, do we- it's points? It, it's not a coin because it's the point shit. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh shit. It's the Odyssey shit. It's the Odyssey shit. He was the enemy. What the fuck is a Wonder Seed? Oh! Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Hey! Okay. Aw, oh, look at Peach. She looks so cute. And there's Toe. Yo! Was that my girl? No. Uh, fucking finally! They're finally using Daisy! They never fucking used Daisy. Ever since Rosalina came out, they fucking used her. They never used fucking Daisy. Now they're using fucking Daisy! Oh my god, that means Daisy and Luigi get the fucking partner up! That's so fucking good! Oh, there's Yoshi's too! 
That's fucking dope as shit. She should definitely replace Toad, because who the fuck cares about Toad? That's not Toad. The dude that came out of that house was not a Toad. Damn, that's soon. That's sooner than the fucking Mario RPG. What the hell? Oh, okay, so it's not the hat shit. Well, it's a power up. I guess the different enemy power ups. That was the brand new 2D side. Okay. Game, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. When you Sorry, this is the way they said wonder. It looks really good though, like damn. Or you might turn into something different, for example. Oh. There were also flowers talking. So are they is playable. Is it like a dream? Became an elephant at the end. A lot of things happened. Yeah, a lot did. You're not wrong. So we hope you'll look forward to it. I love that Daisy's fucking playable. That's fucking dope. That's for today's Nintendo Direct. That is dope as shit. Thank you for watching. Okay. Uh, no, okay, no. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, oh, don't play that. Oh, god damn. We're just gonna leave that there for a second. So, yeah. Uh, I actually got a lot of stuff right for once. That's fucking nice. Um. <laughs> not bad. Like, there was a lot of really good shit in there. Um, basically all the Mario games fucking slapped. Uh, I see you wanting to jump. Don't do that. You will knock down my mic. Uh, and we're getting, uh, more Amiibos for Zelda, which is fucking great. I am- I literally scoured the internet for references for that fucking dress she wears, because I'm literally- I literally made a cosplay for it, and now it's just like, oh, here's the official art for it. It wasn't even in the goddamn art book. That part makes me so mad. <laughs> but the Amiibo looks great. Definitely will get them. They said holiday or something, so that's cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, um... A little like indie projects that were like really good. There's a, a few more. Um, there's actually RPGs I was actually interested for once. I'm never really. A, I'm not a big person on RPGs, so like, they just kind of bore the shit out of me. But there's a few that I'm like, okay, that's kind of hot shit. Uh, the Persona one, but it's grid based and grid based RPGs are like my shit. Um, Mario RPG, Avi. Um, that fucking Star Ocean one that seems like it's gonna play a bit like Tails, but like in their art style, like that looked really good. I haven't played the first one, so that'll be fun. But yeah, so overall, it's really good. Good job, guys. You did it. Alright, so now there's not gonna be anything until I get back from my fucking con. So, peace.